Hi, okay, so in this video, we're gonna look at graphing the line when it's given in slope intercept form. Okay, so let's look at example here. Uh, suppose we have the equation uh, y equals 2x minus 3. Okay, so what this means, uh, just to review, is that my slope is 2. So my slope, and if we remember, slope is rise over run, right? So if the slope is 2, then that's the same as saying 2 over 1, because we have our rise of 2 and our run of 1, and that reduces to just 2, right? Okay, and then we have our y-intercept of negative 3. So that means, let's let's actually have a look at what this looks like now. So if I were to graph this on uh, my x y plane right here, that would mean that my y-intercept is negative 3. So I want to count down. Okay, so that's 0, 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to plot my point right there at negative 3. Okay. And then my slope is what I'm going to count. I'm going to count my slope out now from that point. Uh, so here I start at where I plotted my y-intercept. And then I'm going to count up to 1, 2. That's my rise. And then I'm going to go over 1. Okay? So follow me again. My rise is 1, 2. And then my run is 1 over to the right. So then I'm going to plot my next point right there. Okay. So all I really need is two points to properly graph a line. But to get a better idea, let's do it again. So I can count again. So from here, I can count my slope out of 2 over 1 again. So 1, 2, and my run of 1. So I can plot another point right here. Okay, so so far I have three points, and this is going to give me a pretty good idea of uh, what the line is going to look like, uh, if I can just get a straight line. Okay, so that's the equation, y equals 2x minus 3. Alright, so now let's have a look at a, another example, and let's have a look at the example where we've got the line y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 4. Okay, now uh, if you uh, notice again that my slope is negative 2 over 3, okay, and my y-intercept is 4. Okay, so notice first that the slope is going to be negative, so it means that it's going to kind of run that direction, and my y-intercept is 4. I want to plot my y-intercept first, okay? It just makes things so much easier, and it gives you a starting point of where to run your slope from. So let's uh, plot our y-intercept. y-intercept of 4 is right up here. Okay, and then from there, I'm going to count my slope out. Uh, so my slope is negative 2, which means that I go down 2, and then over 3 from there. Okay, so then I plot my point right here. Okay, and now I take these two points, and I connect them. And that's my equation, that's my graph of the equation, y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 4. Alright, so in this example we're going to give you a graph and uh, we're going to ask what the equation of this line is. So the first thing we want to notice is that I've got a y-intercept down here at uh, negative 2. So my point would be labeled 0, comma, negative 2. And then up here I have another point and it is negative 4, comma, 4. <clears throat> Alright, so remember the form 
of the equation is y equals mx plus b. Uh, we know that the y-intercept is negative 2, so I can just use that right now, just write it down so that we know. Uh, and now I have to try to figure out what the slope is. So let's just look very simply at this line and how do I get from one point to another? Remember rise over run? So we've got the rise, so I go up and then my run to this point. So how many uh, units do I rise and how many units do I run? Okay, well, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's my rise. And then my run is one, two, three, four. Okay, so my rise was six and my run was four. And I know that my slope is rise over run, so that's 6 over 4. And as always you want to reduce your fractions, so that's going to give me 3 over 2. So the equation of this line is y equals 3 over 2 x minus 2. And actually if I had a better drawing of this it would uh, look more like this and I'll show you so here I've got uh, I should really have this point right here and then the line would go oops right through there uh, like that okay hope that made sense alright so here's another example where we're asking what the equation of this graph is in slope intercept form so the first thing we want to note right away is the y-intercept okay and that's at negative 1 so my b my b value is negative 1 and then the next thing I want to notice is what my slope is okay so I go from any any point to another point uh, that that works nicely so right here I go up one and then I go over three units and so I can do that from here also I go up one and I go over three units and I end up back on the line okay so each time I take a path of one up and three over I end up back on the line so that tells me that my slope is positive three over one I'm just gonna write down three so then my equation of this line is y equals 3x minus 1. Okay? Hope. All right, look forward to being watched uh, soon. Hope you enjoyed this video.